President Obama once again vowing to take executive action, this time to raise the minimum wage, and he's blaming Republicans for forcing him to use the power of the pen. The problem is, Republicans in Congress keep blocking or voting down almost every serious idea to strengthen the middle class. This obstruction keeps the system rigged for those at the top and rigged against the middle class. And as long as they insist on doing it, I'm going to keep taking actions on my own. But will forcing a higher minimum wage on businesses help them or end up hurting the economy? Here to discuss is host of Making Money with Charles Payne on the Fox Business Network. Charles Payne himself, good morning. Good morning, morning Charles. Well, a forced minimum wage increase bypassing Congress will do what? Uh, it will make uh, things worse. <clears throat> yeah, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, some people who stuck on minimum wage, uh, particularly the people head of households, it, it would help them. But overall, every study, I don't care if you're left-leaning, right-leaning, no matter what, every study shows that it reduces overall jobs. And for the most part, what you have is a situation that most people, half the, half the people on, on minimum wage are teenagers, live in households where there are other people who are working. So, yeah, I'm on minimum wage, but the household I live in, we do 70000 a year. That's the average. Take one of those jobs away, and what you've lost is significantly more than you would gain from higher minimum wage. That's on the, on the individual side. That's the compassionate side, the individual household. The business side, the small business owner out there could not absorb these costs. That's the engine of growth. That's the root of our economy, small businesses. We're talking about hurting them, harming them significantly. You talk about the root of the economy. We just got the news this week about the shrinking, the, the first quarter growth down 2.9%. It wasn't just because of weather. <laughs> no, you don't it wasn't that just kind of, weather yeah. from yeah. a little snow yeah. flurries. It was because of uh, we, a shrinking economy. And you Obamacare. have Obamacare. Obamacare and a whole host of other issues that these, this administration could be responsible for. That's the, that's the real sad of, uh, part of it all, is that the president has put in place uh, policies uh, at this stage of the game. It's pretty evident that they've always been, the, the rhetoric has always been anti-business, anti-success. But now the regulations, the taxes, and everything else have really come home to roost, if you will. They are destroying the economy. The only reason we're doing as well as we're doing it in knock on wood is because we already had this amazing economy place sure. in place, you know. We're still a $16 trillion economy. But the idea that somehow uh, raising minimum wage is the elixir, it's nuts. It's absolutely crazy. What the president is really doing is saying to the public, hey, give me, give me the right. Help me become a lawless president. Help me become an imperial, imperial president and bypass the system. He lost a lot last week with the Constitution and the Supreme Court. He's losing a court of public opinion. I hope this doesn't work, even though we do have an income inequality problem. All right. Charles Payne is hosting for uh, Stuart Varney today. you got four hours and 12 minutes to get ready, all right? <laughs> Can I get another five minutes? <laughs> I'll get you some coffee. All right, we'll Thanks. do our best. I'm going to need it. Thanks, Charles. Thanks, Thank you, Charles. Thank you.